All right, and we'll keep our eye on that story, but also out today, this too relates to police. A new list of our country's 25 most wanted fugitives was released this morning. CTV's Tony Grace is following the story for us today and has more on the program, which is known as BOLO. Tony. Mm -hmm. And Todd, if you know, if you haven't heard of this program, uh, BOLO stands for, for Be On The Lookout. Now, this program is, is not, they, they make very clear to point out that they are not police themselves, they are not crime stoppers, but they work to amplify the notices of police to try to get more Canadians to pay attention to those fugitive wanted lists. They sort of bring everything together from across the country and put it in one place. So that leads us to today. They come out with a 25 most wanted suspects list, and this gets updated on a regular basis. This BOLO program has been around, Todd, since 2018, and they say that over that time, 20 different suspects, fugitives, who have been featured under this program have since been arrested. So today, 25 most wanted, updated, and, and in doing so, they, they had a rather interesting way that they opened this announcement, Todd. They, they had a table with a giant blanket over top of something on it. They ripped the blanket off and there was a million dollars sitting underneath. And, and they said that there's one million dollars in reward money associated with these 25 most wanted fugitives. So they're hoping that there will be some financial incentive here for people to come forward as they try to amplify these notices in a new way. Yeah, I, we're going to show, I think we have a graphic showing all uh, 10 of the people who are on the list uh, and some of the most wanted as well. So the goal here, Tony, is to obviously catch these people, for people to be on the lookout. And uh, you can tell us a little bit more about the guy at the top of the list. Exactly. So the, the top five suspects on this list are associated with the highest reward amounts, Todd, $100,000 apiece. Michael Beebe, who you see there at the top of the list, a $100,000 reward. Uh, is wanted by Toronto police for murder. And then we have Al Boivin, who's wanted by Société de Québec for drug trafficking. We have Cody Casey, who's wanted by Vancouver police on, on drug and firearms charges. Rabi Al-Khalil from the RCMP for murder. And Christian Cookson, wanted by Toronto police for murder. So those are the five, those first five, who are associated with the highest reward amounts of the 25. And Todd, I should mention that when it comes to the range of offenses that these fugitives are wanted for, the 25 most wanted, it ranges from murder to firearm trafficking, drugs, intimate partner violence, so kind of a real range of offenses here. But uh, this BOLO program, hoping that by coming together and amplifying the various notices by various police forces in one national way, that they'll be able to well, bring in some tips and obviously incentivize people when you're talking about a million dollars in reward money associated with these top 25, Todd. Yeah, absolutely. We're happy to help try to get the word out there as well. Thanks for this, Tony. You bet. Thanks. Tony Grace with Canada's top 25 most wanted fugitives.